But the fact is, most of the wealth that all of those natural blessings Liberia has stays up there among the 40,000 people at the top of the heap. And no one is more top than William Tolbert, this great-great-grandchild of slavery who can trace his roots back to South Carolina, has farms and rubber plantations, and family connections with businesses all over the country. He is president of a republic, but he lives like a feudal prince, or more correctly, an enlightened African chief. All up the West African coast, it is called Dash, the small gift to a servant who has performed well. Crisp new U.S. currency to his workers and their families, and while the cameras are there, to just about anyone who asks. President Tolbert deplores the very idea that anyone might believe that Liberia is controlled by family compacts. We'll take a look at the country's biggest private business. The Meserato Corporation is involved in many things. Its biggest enterprise is fishing, catching and freezing shrimp and lobster for the export market. It also has a monopoly on commercial fishing for the domestic market. Vice President in charge of Meserato Fishing, Richard Tolbert, Harvard, Columbia Law School, and the president's nephew. If you need to get any more people on a temporary basis, do. Over at Meserato's headquarters, you'll find more Tolberts. Stephanette, vice president in charge of everything. Sieta Tolbert, working her way up through the finance department. And Lori Tolbert, in charge of retail sales. It's rare to find a, a, a firm anywhere that's such a family firm as this one. If there's any uh, crisis, the family automatically binds together. So that if you're in any, if there are any kind of problems, it's just a matter of picking up the phone and saying, I need you, and everybody comes. And that's the way we've been brought up. Business is business, politics is politics, and family is family. President Tolbert says he'll not run again when his term is up in five years. We don't have $750,000 to give you either. Among the most likely candidates are Shad Tubman, son of the former president and son-in-law of Mr. Tolbert. But the man most people in Monrovia say is the hottest candidate is this man, A. Benedict Tolbert, trained at Oberlin University, a gentleman farmer, a dynamo of a politician, and the son of the president. Uh, I am the chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the House of Representatives. I'm also the co-chairman on the Committee on Education. I'm also a member of the Committee on Information and Cultural Affairs. Out of government, I am uh, president of the Liberian Federation of Trade Unions, uh, also a minister of the gospel, an evangelist, a spiritualist. That's a pretty full, full day you've described. That's right. <laughs> Personally, I am a child of the universe, and I belong to the school of a Senate master's teaching called the Great White Brotherhood. There are several hierarchies in the universal uh, cosmological world. And so you have a master in charge of wealth, who is called the Master Fortuna. You have a master in charge of governments and nations of the world called El Moya. You have a master in charge of freedom of the universe called Saint Germain. You have a master for justice called Portia. You have a, a master for wisdom called the goddess of Mercury. But this does not bring about blasphemy, nor does it make about Sarah gods. It doesn't bring about a pantheon of gods. And if it were not so, I would not have told you. Tell me, in purely practical terms, and one hears uh, this rumored about in the political circles here, uh, that you're a pretty good candidate to be the next president of Liberia. I believe I am because of the way I live. You see, God doesn't make many leaders. He makes few leaders. If he made many leaders, then he wouldn't have followers. No, but, in, <laughs> but, but in, a, in a purely personal way, does this, does this cause some family quarrels not or at all, tensions? Not at all. I am not ambitious to become president. I only regard myself as a presidential timber because I know I'm capable of governing not only Liberia but the whole of Africa. And if, I, if, if the great divine master of human events 
decides through the minds of the people to use me as a presidential candidate, not only will I rule Liberia, but will I, I shall endeavor to rule the whole of Africa by uniting the continent. <laughs> Into one? I, this is my goal, my, my, my objective, and my aim in my lifetime to see Africa united. With A.B. Tolbert as president? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> a chip from the block. <laughs> And I gather you were a chip off your old man's block as well. <laughs>